So good afternoon. Welcome to robertgeorgioni.com. This is Robert Giorgioni, your friendly roving sommelier. I'm here with a, a, a good old friend of mine, a um, bit of a blast from the past. This is Sue Chambers. We actually did the WSET diploma together quite a few years ago. And um, she's a New York wine specialist. The name of her company is Wine Equals Friends. So uh, over to you, Sue. How Thank are you, you for that introduction, Robert. So Wine Equals Friends, we specialise in New York wines. We're the only importer of New York into the UK. We currently sell to many of the top Michelin restaurants and we also sell to private customers. And we have just uh, obtained our first independent as well, based up in Manchester. Uh, they were a regional wine merchant of the year. So it's very exciting and all very moving forward. Uh, I import from New York now. New York State has two main regions. We've got nine AVAs, which is American Viticultural Areas. And the, the two main ones that I deal with is Long Island and the Finger Lakes. Now Long Island splits into two forks. It's 85 miles east of the centre of Manhattan on the same island of, as Brooklyn and we go 85 miles outside of Manhattan to a beautiful region of what used to be predominantly farming land, building, uh, growing many of the fruit and veg that is sold into the restaurants in Manhattan. Um, and there's about 50 wineries in Long Island, of which I represent six of them, uh, six of the best ones in Long Island. Mm -hmm. Two from the South Fork, which is the Atlantic side, and four from the North Fork, which is uh, the less trendy area, but the more down-to-earth farming community area. Um, there are, it's a very much a cooler climate wine region, as indeed is the Finger Lakes. Both are heavily influenced by the the Atlantic and the big bodies of water of the Atlantic and the Connecticut, the Long Island Sound between Long Island and Connecticut. And then you have the Finger Lakes which is heavily influenced by the big body of water of Lake Ontario stopping all the really cold air coming down from Canada and the, obviously the Finger Lakes that are very long lakes but very deep in some respects, 650 foot deep. I uh, don't think they've they've hardly ever frozen and the last time was in the early 1900s. So it's a really exciting region. They're, they're not bogged down with the usual DOC um, uh, constraints that France and many of the old world sections, they can plant whatever they fancy in terms of grape varieties, um, whatever they think may work or may not work and they can experiment. So it's a really vibrant new region that's that's really quite interesting and everybody is passionate about what they're doing and it's very infectious. So um, I discovered New York uh, a couple of years ago through a friend and um, decided that really it was time that I that I showed their fantastic wines to a, a much wider audience and got them on the international stage which which indeed you, the UK is essentially the centre of the wine trade in, in the world. Um, and we're, we're open to lots of experiments, so, so this is why New York is exciting for me, um, being the first to bring it in. In many respects, it's like finding California 30 years ago, uh, so it's, it's really, uh, well, it keeps me working most through the nights, most nights, actually, so it's that exciting. Sounds so, really good, Sue. So um, let's crack on and taste some wines. Absolutely. Uh, you're really making my mouth water with your <laughs> infectious enthusiasm. <laughs> And I can't wait to taste some of these wines that you've got lined up for us. Okay. And uh, thank you once again. Let's get started. <laughs> 